midfield. The key is in the championship game, but how often in a lifetime do you see a once out by Galas? Man tripped up in a big foul here in the fifth minute. You know that Italy is going to come. Zembrota, however, is going to get hit with a yellow card here. Very reliant on astrology. I think Brent Musburger was pointing that out. Valuta trying to get inside. Touches it ahead. A man goes down inside the box. There will be a penalty there. And number. Well, let's take a look now as Horacio Elizondo comes into council. Well, Malou, very good at these. Zidane chips it off the crossbar. Did it go in and went straight down? And it will be. It will count. It's a goal. One to nothing, France. It did not cost him just yet. It swings in, headed wide. Off the head of great ball, great play by Tyrone right there. But those are the kind of balls driven low, get some guys to run to the near post. For the equalizer here. This one swings out, not a bad ball, headed in! Italy has tied it! Matarazzi strikes to make it 1 1 in the 19th minute of the final. Talk about how important set pieces are. Look at Maserati. He gets up. Boom. But that's what it's about. He gets up. Beats his defender. Pirlo. This one swings out. Good ball in the box. Headed straight down and cleared away. And there's a foul in any event. The push there on Maserati. What's he? Maserati. Pirlo again with the outswinger into the mixer. The header is off the crossbar. Tony and Italy can't believe it. Look at Tony nearly made it. Here's it on. Henri spins the other way in the box. Panabaro there to slide and knock it out. France will have a corner. It'll be the second of this match. Well, and you can see what's so special. Here's Galas. Zidane. Keeping his footing somehow and finally goes down. is in the white as we start the second half at a 1-1 tie. No substitutions for either side. On the attack, Terry Henry, and a shot on target, but low, there is a man down on the far side. Henry, who bounced back after a vicious hit early in the contest. Really did, but this is what he brings in the second half. Short corner, played back inside the box, and headed down a deflection there. Conamaro got a piece of it. He always seems to still loose inside the six, and that one's going to roll out. Vieira went sprawling, and a nice pass off to Henri, still battling his way, backs into a man, gets free, amazing job here, and it's cleared away by Italy, but Thierry Henri putting on a dribbling show inside the but box. He, he's a smart move. Henri, great touch here for Ribéry, on the attack, full steam ahead here, here's Zidane, Zidane taking it left, opportunity knocking for the French, a man down, but there is no whistle. No whistle at all, no foul on this play as Maluda made the run. He said he got fouled by Zembrota. And at midfield, will be coming on for Patrick Vieira. Vieira wearing number 18. It's Roma coming off. I have to say both are kind of disappointing today. Just didn't get involved. Don't you never... Trying to launch this one forward. Terry Henry. Dribble. Buffon with the save. Fabio Grosso able to send this one out. Well, he's taking a few chances. You can see him. He's doing a good job. Look at him looking for the ball. He's looking for the ball. Now he dives in. And that one will roll out. Matarazzi sends it ahead. But France continues to possess it. Here's the blast. That's going to be well off to the right by Alvador. Pirlo will chip the free kick, little flick there. It's out of the box. Tony turns, and there was a handball. Tony down in some pain. Here's Pirlo directing that kick into the post. 
Diving effort there by Martez, and it's just wide. Well, when you talk about free kicks, they've got to be hit, bent, and hard. And look Zidane rising up. Got hit from behind, went down. There was no whistle. Panamaro again, who is everybody. Wow, he's strong. You thought he made it, made the sign. I think a lot of people did, asking for a substitute. But he is staying on. Well, and we saw this sub against Germany. Very important sub coming in. Gets the second goal in the Germany game in the semifinal game. Del Piero. Berlin. And we started under clear skies. And remember, these teams are a little bit older. France out. And it's hung in there and stayed in the match. Although it looked like he was coming out. Ribéry gets it back. Top of the box. Ribéry shoots just wide of the post. By Frank Ribéry. Oh, so close. Yeah, you talk about some good combination. Ribéry, Maluda back. Just brings it to the table every time. And now you bring in someone like Trezeguet, who is an outright goal scorer. Third minute, Makaleli. Finds Zidane. Zidane cutting it back to the right. Wide to Senyol. Has time to set it up. Swings it in. The header. Oh, the save by Buffon. And it was Zidane. He can't believe it didn't go in. Oh, we talked about the magic. He starts it, and then he gets into the sideline. He's going to get a little treatment at the end of the first extra time. In the 107th minute for one of the great men of soccer Thierry Henry certainly had his Laurent Maluda trying to make a move cutting it back it swerves in Tony trying to let's take a look here oh wow Marco Matarazzi gets crushed by Zidane and again, away from the play, so... Obviously, he went over to the referee right to the sideline official. He saw it and went and talked to him. Good referee. He saw it. The linesman saw it. Talked to the official. He goes over and gives him a red card. And he's out. Zidane, and that may be the end of it for one of the game's greats. You may never see him again. He has announced his retirement. Red carded and sent off. The whistle. That's the end of overtime. We have not had a penalty kick shootout since 1994 in the final. Guards, here he comes. The first one is good. Pirlo cashes in. Penalties as much as. We are tied at one. Beating. Matarazzi into the corner. Another one for Italy to take the lead two to one. The line. Off the crossbar. No good. He can't believe it. Trezeguet cannot make his. Well. De Rossi. Got it. Abidal gets it. 3 2. And a drama on the approach for Italy. Sticks it in. And here he comes. He makes it. France is still alive. It comes down to this. Fabio Grosso has the World Cup on his foot.